Riding high after its successful soft landing on the moon, India's space agency released video of its lunar rover beginning its mission to explore the south pole of the moon. Uncharted territory. India is the first country to have tracks on the ground there, although other countries like the United States, the former Soviet Union and China have made controlled landings on other parts of the lunar surface. Taking a victory lap at the Indian Space Research Organization, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said this was an historic scientific achievement, putting India at the forefront of the exploration of this strategic section of the moon, which scientists say could contain life-sustaining properties like frozen deposits of water in its shadowy craters. Our mission the region that our mission will explore will help to open new avenues for moon missions by other countries. This will not only unravel the mysteries of the moon, but also help in resolving the challenges of the Earth. A Russian attempt for a soft landing on the south pole of the moon failed about a week ago. The U.S. is planning a crewed mission to land in the area in late 2025 or 2026. Japan will soon launch a lunar lander into space, though it won't travel to the south pole of the moon. The lander, named SLIM, also known as Moon Sniper, aims to make a pinpoint landing on the lunar surface just south of the Sea of Tranquility. It's planned to be a high-precision test to see if the spacecraft can land within 100 metres of its target. And while the moon may be back in the spotlight, the business of space exploration continues on other fronts. The International Space Station is preparing to welcome a new crew, four crew members from four different countries, the US, Japan, Russia and Denmark, blasted off Saturday to embark on their six-month mission on the ISS.